Hey guys, here we are at the Nintendo booth for E3 2016 and we're gonna try The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the first time ever. So, so excited to be here and uh, okay, let's give it a go. As you know, most ambitious Nintendo game ever. We're gonna check the new open world. The new features, the new items, the new survival aspect to it, and uh, let's see. All right, let's go. Okay, the Great Plateau is the first part. Let's see, a lot of items. Torch. All right. Let's see. Okay. Another item. Arrows. Okay. We can use. Okay. Let's. Let's take a look at the Amiibo feature first. Uh, we have the Twilight Princess Wolf Link Amiibo here. Okay, so just like with the other items, we can navigate them through uh, pressing up at the D-pad, and then with the right stick, we can choose, not Magnesis, not that yet, so Amiibo. And this way, we can, okay, sorry. L, I press L, and then I can, okay. Okay, so it's like, uh, it's not like a menu, it's like something you do in the world in order to, to have the Amiibo feature. So for example there, and we can drop it, touch it, and there it is. There's two links on the screen right now. Wolf Link and the new link. Okay, this kind of, I mean, of course, it's like a crossover, a cameo, if you, if if we can say that. And this is like, it makes sense because of the new wild nature of the game. So, as far as I know, Wolf Link will help us during our quests, during combats, etc. Okay, so. Okay, let's take a look at the inventory. Travel sword. Okay, we can navigate with the right stick. Shields, so it looks like we're gonna get different shields. Bows and arrows. Armor, this is more advanced than with uh, Skyward Sword. Let's take a look. Champion shirt. Okay, we can we can change on the fly. Okay. Okay, just taking a look. Too hot to wear this. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look. Materials. I'm guessing this is for both feeding you and also uh, perhaps crafting stuff or upgrading your equipment? This is just cooking. Okay, cooking. And important items. So the shaker slate is like the main new mysterious item we have here. There you can check the, uh, the temperature. So some things to keep in mind we didn't before in the Zelda series in order to survive, right? Uh, okay, let's let's skip this one and see what happens. What is this little icon here? So you can see that's his temperature. See that's the temperature. That's yeah. The noise, that he's making. The noise. Okay. So like. Okay. All right. 
Okay. Okay. So I don't know if you picked that up, but if we what to say what she's saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, if we press down the left stick, we go into stealth mode, something like that. It's like crouching. So as you can see, the the noise level in the lower right corner. Oh, there is a. What is that? It's a boar. Yeah. We can attack them, and maybe we can. Yeah. Cook the meal. These mushrooms and apples. <laughs> okay. So if we are to attack the boar, what should be the? Okay. Okay. Bow and arrow is just pressing. No, this is the. Oh, nice. That was a knife. I threw. Oh, I threw. I threw my sword. Okay. It's E C R. Okay, let's try that from here. C R. I'm gonna. Yeah. Of course, I can tilt the the Wii U gamepad in order to aim with accuracy. And uh, okay, you know, boars around, so I can just pull it. And I don't know, let's jump here, let's try and get this sword back. I'm guessing it was just a normal sword. Um, I won't kill these little squirrels. Okay, you, I can? Okay. Should I? Okay, let's try the. Do we have an axe as already? No. Okay. Okay, new climbing feature as well. <laughs> jump. All right. So with the X button, you can jump. This is a new jumping feature. This is of course new as well, since I mean new to the Zelda 3D series. All right. All right. So this is potion or something. Or we cannot swim here. We don't want automatic KO. So let's stay out of that and let's take a look here. Uh, can we take a look at the map of the? Okay. If I press minus button. All right. So that should show here in at the. Uh, gamepad screen as well but currently for this demo we can only check this out on screen and uh, well this is just a little portion of the whole map of course this is a great plateau and this is the starting area of the game and I can zoom out and zoom out and wow this is even not the whole map so just imagine Ilya River. Okay, so if we want to head somewhere, for example, here, does that make sense? I can try and go there. Uh, but travel or. Uh, so that one you can teleport to? Yeah, but I don't want to teleport, I want to like to. So you just move your market. Okay. Stamp to the entrance. Oh, we have some symbols in order to know, okay, if you want different stamps to different points of the map, you use the symbols. All right, let's use the purple one. And now we can go back. Exactly, we have, we have it there. Oh. Almost. So many activities to get distracted with. But that's really nice always with Zelda. So just imagine with the open world. That's another tower we have in there. Okay. Okay, so we have more than a hundred shrines we can explore and climb and 
All right. Yeah, and if I'm correct, pressing the B button is running. You have some mestamina. You're too tired to some turn actions until it fills up again. Okay, some enemies. Let's try the bow and arrow. Oh, too weak. Critical hit if you do a headshot. That sounds like a new feature as well. Okay, let's see how Wolf Link attacks. Come on, buddy. Help me out. He won't. There's some loot here. That was nice. Okay. Pick up this. And. Boko Bow is a basic Boko Bean Bow made of wood. It's not very powerful, but it's light and easy to use. Another one. Alright. Let's take another look. We can switch. Horn. Okay. Oh, here. Let's take a look here. Okay. Okay, so this is one of the first environmental puzzles we're we're finding there's several approach approaches you can try here this is an enemy camp you could try of course the rather obvious red barrel right there or you could try and fetch them off directly or do a stealthy approach but as well as shown in the trailer we have this boulder here we can use to just no need to press the button. Yes. Yes. Press forward. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Where can we check if we are hungry? Okay. Okay, so yeah, no uh, hard collecting by cutting off the grass. So in this game, we need to take a look at the heart, at the heart cement meter, at the health meter, and then. Nice. And if we are to 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 eat it. Okay, so that makes no sense. Okay, sit here. Hold out your bow and arrow, you can actually light your arrow to fire. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, we can. Pass the time. So in the game, a minute is an hour in the game. Okay. And then it'll show you the time. So if you wanted to change, and then if you switch to night, you have a whole set of different enemies and stuff. Okay, let me repeat that. Uh, every minute is an hour in game. So. Here in the camps, you can you can skip to another time, and of course, both the environmental uh, dangers and the enemies change during the night and during the the evening. So let's try and go night, yeah. And let's see what it happens. All right, scary night. And now we can try and set the arrows on fire. I don't know if that's with the... Nope. Oh, nice. Yeah, and there is a, something I can perhaps light up right inside the eye. 
Oh, it's... Yeah, but it's fired up already. Okay, let's see here. A lot of uh, resources collecting here. This is the main new feature of the game. You can explore it fre fre freely. Let's see how can we approach this second enemy camp. <laughs> 